Drake has dropped another legal bombshell, accusing Universal Music Group of defamation over Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us. He claims the track falsely labels him as a predator, and UMG knowingly released it to boost profits. Allegations now include pay-to-play schemes with iHeartRadio to push the song. Drake's lawyers argue UMG prioritized Kendrick over him, tarnishing his reputation for financial gain. The feud between the rap giants just got more explosive. Universal Music Group has responded to Drake's lawsuit, in which he alleges that UMG and Spotify conspired to artificially boost Kendrick Lamar's diss track about him, Not Like Us. In the response, they say the suggestion that UMG would do anything to undermine any of its artists is offensive and untrue. We employ the highest ethical practices in our marketing and promotional campaigns. No amount of contrived and absurd legal arguments in this pre-action submission can mask the fact that fans choose the music they want to hear. I don't know about you guys, but everyone I know was listening to Not Like Us this summer. They even played it at my cousin's wedding. You can let me know your thoughts down below, but I think this is making Drake look a little bitter and salty. Although a source from Drake's camp did say that Drake is upset with UMG's allegedly shady business practices and that he's not upset about Kendrick or his lyrics. I don't know. I think Kendrick really did get under his skin, but I'm really curious to see how this is going to play out. These are some serious accusations, but we all know the music industry is a pretty dirty business. Let me know your thoughts down below and follow me for more pop culture news. Drake is suing his own record label, Universal Music Group and Spotify, alleging that the companies violated the RICO Act and conspired to manipulate the market and artificially inflate the popularity of Kendrick Lamar's diss track, Not Like Us. The court filing claims that UMG, who Kendrick is also signed to in a deal through Interscope Records, paid Spotify to recommend Not Like Us to users who search for unrelated songs and artists. It also claims the label paid Apple to have Siri purposely misdirect users requesting songs from Drake's catalog and playing not like us instead. The lawsuit also alleges that UMG paid influencers like NFR podcasts and radio stations to boost Kendrick's song without disclosure. It alleges that a whistleblower revealed that bots generated 30 million early streams for the song. And the most interesting allegation, in my opinion, that employees who were perceived as loyal to Drake were allegedly fired as part of an effort to cover up UMG's attempt to prop up Kendrick. UMG has refused to engage with Drake and believes he should be suing Kendrick instead of them. Although according to The Independent, a source in Drake's camp said that Drake is upset with UMG's alleged allegedly shady business practices, but not Kendrick or his lyrics. On one hand, if these allegations are true, I understand Drake wanting to sue his label because your label should not be working against you. But suing somebody over a rap beef is a PR disaster and you should never do that under any circumstances and Drake looks incredibly soft here. If you are going to file a lawsuit, I would expect it to be directed at the person who made pretty insane accusations against you as opposed to a record label who inflated numbers, which newsflash happens all the time. Jay-Z and Puffy wanted Biggie killed. Bottom line. You don't have to believe me. Believe the facts. Here's a man that wanted to leave Bad Boy. He wanted to do his own thing. He mentioned several times how he was tired of being used and abused. That he was bigger than Bad Boy itself. Somebody, and we ain't going to call no more names, dangled a bogus contract in front of his face so he wouldn't leave the company. How I know I was there. Another thing, Jay-Z wanted him out of the industry, period, so he could take over and be the biggest hip-hop artist around. And I wonder who's the biggest hip-hop artist today. It's all business, folks. And unfortunately, you as a fan, most of you won't understand. But it was all about the business. And the two billionaires have done what they seeded to do. Hey, yo. Diddy's former bodyguard, Uncle Ron, dead of pneumonia. Nothing else. Universal Music Group has responded to Drake and his lawsuit against them and him claiming that they used payola, bots, and other methods to make Not Like Us become a popular song. They said the suggestion that UMG would do anything to undermine any of its artists is offensive and untrue. We employ the highest ethical practices in our marketing and promotional campaigns. We just heard that new BBL Drizzy. The diss, the bomb, i hold your head up, cut it off like Rick Ross and hold it up. Himalaysia.
Anastasia, Fantasia. <laughs> Cupcake, man. You looking bad. Looking bad, man. You might as well go on Maury Povich and tell your story. Go to Maury Povich. <laughs> I just want to make this clear. White boy, they said you said if you was f the girls, you promised you would have been arrested. Whoever wrote that for you should have put more thought into that. White boy, it's your writers. Whatever message you translated to them, that wasn't the way they were supposed to do that. And as a writer, when it comes to you got to remove yourself from that. White boy, that wasn't the, the line right there. Hey, white boy. I hear you, you, you bowing out, it's obvious, you can't take it. You know ain't nobody playing a song about defending in the club, we don't do that. But this ain't over the Ricky Roll say say it's over, right? Cause you tapping out, you tapping out, you know everybody see it. But like I said, we finna party tonight, and it ain't over till the boss says so. You hear me? Listen, we keeping Drake away from the car show because the kids are welcome. Nobody with that background. No! Yeah, what's going on? It's Kendrick Lamar. Right now, you're logged on to goodfellamedia.com. Y'all stay tuned. High power. Top gun. I had six exactly. months ago with a whole nother demographic, you know, of people listening to my music. I'm definitely going to capitalize, capitalize off that. Shout out to Drake. You know, he reached out. How did that happen? Um, All right. If you were in Drake's position, who, what two artists would you pick to go on tour with? That's you? a good one. That's a great one. Um, Outside of my camp, I don't know. Exactly. I that's a, that's. Boy, Q, yeah, of course. Yeah. Right, so. But we're we're talking about. Uh, 